Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with Samir Ajawi. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his happiness for the win of Philly Bolt Action at the Salisbury Racecourse after a strong competition. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that Bolt Action's winning of first place is a prominent indication of the successful march of Bahrain's participation in foreign forums which recorded pioneering stations that caught the attention in the European arena, which gives a great incentive to continuing pushing these participations for more achievements. His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the efforts of Fauzi Nas and trainer Roger Werner in creating the ideal atmosphere for this participation, which achieved many goals that would continue the advancement of Bahraini equestrian, praising at the same time the efforts of rider David Egan and his successful leadership of the Philly bolt action in the race. His Honor Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the second graduation ceremony of the British University of Bahrain held under his patronage. His Honor Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman emphasized that investing in Bahraini citizens and their education remains an integral part to the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness highlighted the importance that the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa places on educational initiatives and sustainability development in education within an environment of innovation and creativity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed congratulated the graduating students and encouraged students from all universities to continue to excel in their studies and in their future careers to support the kingdom's ongoing development.
The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Thamar Al-Kaabi, met the State Secretary at the German Federal Ministry for Digital and Transport, Stefan Schoner, on the sideline of the International Telecommunication Union Plenty Potentiary Conference held in Bucharest, Romania. The Minister, Al-Kaabi, affirmed the strength of the Bahraini-German relations, praising the steady progress of bilateral ties across various fields. The two sides reviewed initiatives to enhance cooperation between Bahrain and Germany, as well as the future aspirations to enhance joint action within the ITU Council. The Social Development Minister Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf al asfour received Saudi Dr. Abdul Rahman bin Abdullah al Mshaqi, Honorary Member of the Bahrain Voluntary Work Society, Honorary President Hassan bin Eid Bukhamas, and the Society's Board Management Chairman Abdul Aziz al Sindi. The Minister praised the Society's sustainable development and social contributions and its initiatives in implementing qualitative projects. He stressed the importance of volunteer work and the Ministry's keenness on facilitating civil work in line with the relevant laws and regulations. The Chairman and Board members reviewed the Society's most prominent achievements and stressed its contributions for the advancement of society, economic, social, education and health levels. They thanked the Ministry for promoting the culture of volunteering and supporting voluntary initiatives in achieving development services. The Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Yasser bin Ibrahim Humaydan received an HSBC high-level delegation led by the Chief Executive Officer Christopher Russell who outlined the bank's initiatives and projects to promote sustainability in its short and long-term strategic plans. These projects support Bahrain's plans to encourage the utilization of renewable energy sources and the application of solutions and technologies to improve energy efficiency. He noted the pivotal role of the banking sector in supporting the government's projects to develop electricity and water services and diversify their sources. The delegation commended the level of services provided by the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs, noting steps being taken to integrate renewable energy sources into the overall energy mix and encouraging the use of energy efficiency solutions. The primary health care centers and the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Medical University of Bahrain, signed a cooperation agreement to support the health care services in the kingdom. Under the deal, the primary health care centers will provide their facilities for the purposes of education, training and scientific research for medical faculty professors. RCSI Bahrain will also provide support services, including laboratories, libraries, diagnostic and therapeutic services to primary health care centers and training and scientific research for college professors. In return, the college provides support services from laboratories, libraries and diagnostic and therapeutic services to the primary health care centers. The Health Minister, Dr. Jalila bint Sayyid Jawad Hassan, stressed efforts to consolidate public health services and build more partnerships with educational institutions. Primary Health Care Center's Acting Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Rulwa Rashid Shwaitar, said the agreement would bolster cooperation with RCSI Bahrain, a pioneering academic institution in the Arabian Gulf region. She praised the RCSI Bahrain's efforts to support the staff working in the primary health care center sector, stressing commitment to enhance the standard of services. The RCSI Bahrain President, Professor Samir Artoum, stressed the strong partnership with the primary health care centers to achieve the common goals, support services, and keep abreast of future needs on medical studies and clinical research. <coughs> the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain, headed by the permanent representatives of the Kingdom to the Atomic Nuclear Energy Agency, Ambassador Dr. Yusuf Abdel Karim Bouchiri, participated in the 66th session of the General Conference of the International Atomic Energy Agency held in Vienna. In his speech, during the meeting, Dr. Bouchiri delivered, he affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to strengthen its relationship with the agency in order to develop its national capabilities in the peaceful fields of atomic and nuclear energy. He pointed out that Bahrain, since its accession to the agency's membership, has paid full attention to technical cooperation activities. He also stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, as a party to all international agreements in the field of nuclear safety, is striving to fulfill its obligations and submit its national reports in a comprehensive manner. Dr. Pujiri said that the Kingdom of Bahrain considers nuclear weapons and their proliferation a threat to regional and international peace and stability. He affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to make the Middle East a region free of weapons of mass destruction. 
and called on the Islamic Republic of Iran for full cooperation with the agency and refraining from harming the region and neighboring countries. The head of the kingdom's delegation concluded his statement by emphasizing Bahrain's aspirations for a more fruitful and constructive cooperation with the International Atomic Energy Agency and its member states. <coughs> And the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain participating in the General Conference of the International Atomic Energy Agency met with the IAEA Director of Technical Cooperation for the Asia and the Pacific Division, Professor Jane Gerardo Abaya. During the meeting, the head of the Kingdom's delegation, Dr. Youssef Abdel Karim Bouchiri, praised the fruitful cooperation between Bahrain and the Technical Cooperation Department of the International Atomic Energy Agency that contributed to providing support and assistance to Bahrain by benefiting from advanced technical sciences in several fields and the comprehensive scientific and technical training it provides to ensure the peaceful use of nuclear energy. For her part, Professor Jane Gerardo Abaya expressed her appreciation for the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to implement all the technical requirements that contribute to developing programs and achieving the highest rates of benefit.